The Amazing Wonder Birds are sponsored by Wines With Stories. Hello! Hello. Hello. Friday, Friday afternoon. Friday. I have to tell you girls, weirdly, yeah. I'm just looking out my window and I've got rain. Have you? No. I can see rain. No. That's very unusual. Well, very unusual. Very unusual. Very unusual. Very unusual. Yeah, I know, we have a really, really, a really hot weekend though, aren't we? It's full yeah. sunshine tomorrow. Yes, um, yes, apparently. In, in, in London, it's 29 on Sunday. Wow. And uh, in London on Monday, it's uh, somebody's birthday. Yay! Oh, I wonder but who that is. Debbie's the nice birthday too. that is. Oh, oh, birthday thank you too. <laughs> Linda Lusardi who sent me these gorgeous flowers, actually. She was the first present to arrive and a beautiful card. So thank you, darling. It was a lot, how kind, how very kind. You're so lovely. But oh, saying very happy kind. 90 second was very mean. It was mean. <laughs> how old are you? I'm going to put you on the spot. And I won't tell you. <laughs> so that's it. That's the end of that. Age is just a number, guys. It doesn't yeah, matter how it's old very you are. Right? But, she but, looks but, marvellous for 75. That's <laughs> what I do too. She does. Thank yes. you what's very it, much. What's it like yes. getting bus pass and you know being able oh, to travel you around? Stop London? it, you lot. Stop it. I know bus passes are bad, bad sign, aren't they? That means yeah, that's it. it then. I don't it, it can't be a bad sign. It must be a good <laughs> sign. I yeah. have not to talk about age. Yeah. Well, I'm not talking about age. What I am talking about now is the live show, for goodness sake. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. 28, 28, 28, 28. 28th of June. 28th and of where June. is it? Where is it? The, the Duchess, Duchess Theatre in the West End of London. The Duchess. Correct. Where is the Duchess? It's opposite. It's in, it's in the uh, just opposite. The, it's in the Strand, just off the Strand. Oh, in the Strand, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And Lovely that, what is the format of this show? What you all going to be sitting there in little boxes like we are now? Mm. <laughs> Actually, funny like enough, Linda. Debbie did suggest that at one point, didn't you? <laughs> I did. And we what, told what her show? she was talking rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that was, wasn't that Celebrity Squares that used to be sitting in a box? In a yeah. box? That was, yeah, yeah. right. Celebrity Squares, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no uh, well, it's, a, it's um, when you say format, Linda. <laughs> oh, there is <laughs> no format. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I just say, it will be mayhem, bedlam, and it would be the biggest party of opening a theatre again after this terrible pandemic. And we'll just all go crazy because we're actually in a theatre. We can't have a full theatre in the auditorium because we're not allowed. We're only going to have so many people, but we will have the best party ever. True. And all people of you that will be booked, on their feet. Yeah, That's and all of you that have booked tickets, please put in the comments below and tell everybody else to book tickets as well because you might be able to see them there and you can yes. get tickets if you go to our website theamazingwonderbirds.com you will see a link that takes you straight to the booking so please do that because we want to see you there and also you know we can ask if you leave us some questions we might be able to answer them on the day yes. so and it doesn't matter stage. how risky they are they you can ask anything you want anything at all i'm just saying I'll the, just say, it's the murder, and we will explain the murderers because it is out there. So it's Brian Capron from Coronation Street who killed I don't know how many people. Oh, There's Connor McIntyre, of course, Phelan who killed I don't know how many people. And of course, the gorgeous John Altman, Nasty Nick, who killed I don't know how many people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so very nasty. Yeah, so they were all the worst murderers on television. Mm -hmm. But you so know, we've got them all. Going, going back to the theatre's opening, um, my Lucy's doing a thing called Strictly Cabaret with Ray Quinn, uh, which is oh. a performance tonight we're going to in Lincoln. And they did the first one, I think, the week before last. And at the end of the show, all the cast cried and all the audience stood up and they were crying too. It was, it was oh. you know, so emotional for everybody to be back in the theatre and doing their stuff. Um, it's got yeah. Rina Rin off um, doing all the choreography and Lucy singing in Fabulous. Rain. It's amazing. It's on tonight and oh. um, you can get tickets. Um, it's in Lincoln. I don't know what theatre. 
but you'll if you put strictly the main theatre in Lincoln, it's yeah. a beautiful, yeah. Yeah. beautiful theatre. And there's two performances next Friday and Saturday, and then that's it. So how fabulous! fabulous. Oh, yeah. great! Well, that's so lovely. And, and with the, with ours, it, it's the same. You know, we, and we will be very emotional, and yeah. I think the audience will be. And there's going to be people like Bonnie Tyler and Got Guan. And the fantastic Rhea Jones is going to sing, oh, which is just so exciting because she is just amazing. But at the end, there's a bit of a surprise because we're going to do um, a little ditty, a little song for everybody to join in with. And it's a sweet little song. Um, mm. It might shock people a little bit, but it's... Um, mm. they <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have we're going to have some fun and that is for sure oh now, what's the song i need to know what the guess, song is sherry's got our next you. guest is actually <laughs> coming to the show she actually booked tickets because she's such a Bless star her. and she's such a friend of the show it's taken me over a year to get her on here considering how much her and i how close we are and she's been going oh Julie, you're so good i'm frightened i'm frightened i'm frightened so now we've got her out yes. jackie leonard <laughs> where are you Yes, there she is. Hi. Hi. Hello. Jackie, I can't believe it's taken me a year and a half to get you on the show. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to be avoiding it. You know what I'm like, Debbie. You know what I'm like. I hate these things. <laughs> well, you can't hate you because you're with me now. I, I get her involved in so many things that she goes, oh, not again. Not and, again. Uh, <laughs> what do I have to do this time? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have a very interesting relationship we've known each other for 25 years and we met on the set of a soap dare we say it yes we met on the set of eastenders and i'd i'd been i think you'd already been on and you were coming back into it i'd been there a month and uh had scenes only with michael french and paul nichols who were delightful Fabulous. lovely I didn't really see anybody else there and everybody was kind of a bit they didn't really speak to you very much and that morning I'd gone into makeup makeup girls were all lovely I'd opened the door for an actress and went morning and as I said it she just looked me up and down and walked straight past me said, oh oh god I'm not going to enjoy this job at all and I've got however long anyway finished my day's work walked out of um makeup and I saw this smiling face that means she went, hello, hello. I went, hi. I went, oh my God, my God, someone's smiling. A friend. Is actually talking to me. And ever since then, we were best buddies. Yeah. So it, 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 she was like a breath of fresh air. So I'm not oh. mentioning any names about those other actresses. But I've heard think. that. I've heard that because I did Emmerdale and it was like a big family, a really yeah, yeah. big happy family. Yeah. And up there, they all said, you don't want to go to EastEnders because it's yes. very cold and people yeah. keep themselves and it's all a bit, you know, backbiting and... Yeah, I, I, I actually did love working on the programme, I have to be honest. But at that initial first couple of months, you know, when you just want... Because it's quite scary yeah. joining something yeah. like yes. EastEnders. You know, so where everybody knows what they're doing and you're coming in new for yeah. the Time. Did they warm? Did you warm to them, or did they warm to you, Jackie? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the more I think, the more I every morning went in. Morning. <laughs> I mean, they, they yeah. kind of had to really. And the first time I was in London on the tube when I first came down to college, the first thing I did because we do it in the buses up north. Morning. We all <laughs> like I was some nutter. <laughs> so you, did you have to kind of learn, sort of earn their respect before they treat you as one of them? Maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. And I think also because, like I said, the first month, it was just very close with Paul Nichols and, yeah. and um, David. Um, so I didn't really see anybody else. And also anyway. the other thing is they never really see you because the, yeah. you're only working, as you know, when, we, when you yeah. work on scripts, and, and, and the other girls will understand, but our viewers probably don't know this. But because you're six weeks ahead, you're only seeing what's on, and they're probably yeah. not watching the show anyway as it goes out. So what, because it's very confusing to watch the show as it goes out, because yeah. it's like living your life in the past. It's so weird. So you, you just carry on in the future. Yeah. So, so so they don't really know what you've done and they don't really know who your character is. I mean, the first day I was there, they put me on set 
with my sister who I haven't seen for years, which was, I hadn't even done a rehearsal with her. Yeah. And it was an outdoor, you know, it was, it was on location. It was in, the, in Albert Square. And they just said, right, action. And I went, I, oh, wait a minute, where are the cameras? I mean, yeah. you know, and they said, oh, they're in that tree, that tree, that tree, and go. Absolutely. And oh, I know it's 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 quite scary at first and it moves so quickly. I mean, mm. I, literally you're learning dialogue, 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 getting rid of it for, and then more dialogue for the next day. And I am certainly with these standards. I mean, I've been in quite a lot of soaps now, but certainly with these standards, you had quite a lot of well-known theatre actors come in. And they found it very difficult. Yeah. Really yeah. difficult to do the You don't get much rehearsal, thing. do you either? It's sort of yeah. no rehearsal. That, no. Camera, rehearsal. Yeah, I've heard that. You and then yeah. go, isn't it? It's so literally. You've done, you, you've done some fantastic roles, you know, as you say, in soaps and films and all yeah. sorts. Is there a dream role that you'd love to play? <laughs> well, when I was younger, I always wanted to be one of the kind of... Um, girls in the marvel films you know saving oh, the planet yeah. <laughs> i'm too old yeah. for that now so um but funnily enough the only soap that i haven't been in is emmerdale and i really oh. really want to be in emmerdale. oh you'd love it yeah i oh. really want to be in emmerdale that is my 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 big wish list um and theater i would love to do the scottish play dare we may i mm. not even play it um, I'd love to do the Scottish play and or play Titania. This all don't you when you say that? In the yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Titania, Excellent. Summer Night's Dream. I, that's my favourite Shakespeare. Oh, that's a fabulous yeah. part, Jackie. Yeah. I, I'm fascinated by River City yeah. because yeah. it was such a great series, and you you did a Bobby Ewing, or they did a Bobby Ewing, didn't they? They, did. they, they brought you back as they a ghost. Did. Not in the shower, though. I hope. No. <laughs> well, no. I don't know, did they? Out of the boot of a car. <laughs> I died. No, not, not as glamorous the then. And came what back you, to life. Yeah. Well, you what was that what like? Jackie? What happened? Well, I, I was in... Um, River City 10 years on and off and it was brilliant because they they film it slightly different to um, the other soaps you do three months on three months off so while my right. little girl was small it meant I had summer off with her and Christmas oh. it worked brilliantly and the reason I joined it was because at the time they were going to thinking of networking it across the BBC mm -hmm. um, but for some reason it didn't happen but I absolutely loved working on it. The people up there are fabulous, they're fantastic. My husband, um, Frank, is a brilliant, brilliant actor and we got on really well. And he's he's like the the gangster in it, and I'm his mole really. <laughs> yeah, um, great. So we, we had great storylines and you know, throughout, and we've done some horrendous things, you know, well, he has, and I've kind of gone along with it. <laughs> in, Sorry, when, do you mean your husband in the soap, or your yeah. real husband? No, my husband in the soap. Oh, yeah. the soap. Right, Frank Gallagher. In the <laughs> no, soap. I didn't know well, he yeah. was married him. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Um, Frank Gallagher, who's a brilliant, brilliant Scottish actor. Um, so, in, so what happens, um, I... He, the, the kind of uh, he's doing these deals that go a bit dodgy and I walk into the room and he shoots me by mistake oh uh, so I'm then shoved into the boot of a car um so I come back then not as a ghost as such I'm supposed to be his conscience oh, so ah. I'm, I'm actually his conscience yes. and I did I did say to them when they mentioned the storyline to me I was like oh there's only so much of this you can do before it gets a little bit so I, I did kind of say to them I will do only a few of those um yes you know, I'll come back with his country and then it has to move on really of yeah course, I'll keep coming back doing that that's just <laughs> ludicrous no <laughs> but, fascinating storyline though but, yeah. but Jackie there is a but and um I'm not going to tell you any more about that. Oh, no, you've got to. Go on, tell us. I can't. I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. I'll leave you hanging. You can't go back as your own twin sister. <laughs> Possibly. Well, what, you never know. You never but know. But what you can tell us about 
is your up and coming tour with our Harriet Thorpe, can't yes. you? Yes, yes. So um, tell us about it. It's written so, by my mate Hilary Bonner, isn't it? Yeah, Hilary, who is obviously an amazing uh, novelist and writes um, all these crime psychological uh, novels. This is her first play yes. in theatre called Dead Lies, which again is a bit of a political psychological drama. Um, so yeah, it's about a very charming, charismatic um, chap who's kind of heading towards number 10. He's, you know, wants to be prime minister and it's all about telling the truth to the people, you know, no lies, you know, and the people love him because he, he really, he's, he's, you know, he's a good speaker. He's played by Clive Mantle. Br yeah. Brilliant. He's been on the show as well. Yeah. Yes. Um, so he is, this, um, you know, head of this political party, and he's he's a brilliant leader. Comes to um, voting the day of the voting, and things don't go quite as smoothly. The past comes back to haunt him. So there's lots of um, sexual scandals and disruptions. Um, and I play his wife, who absolutely adores him and would do absolutely anything for him. Right. I really can't tell you any more about her. Oh, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm just <laughs> leaving you hanging on in that. Yeah, <laughs> you're very good. At, you've been very good at that today, Jackie. You're leaving us <laughs> hiding things. Yes, secrets. Uh, well, you'll say, have to come back when you can tell us more. About yes, it. well, I can tell you that. But yeah, okay. I have to say, I haven't been on. Well, I've done some pantomimes, but I haven't done a, a proper play for years so I'm a, I'm a bit nervous, nervous. excited yeah. really excited because the obviously it's a great cast Hillary's a brilliant um writer and obviously um you know it's a red or a great company to work for so as well when does so. the tour start August we we go into rehearsals August the 23rd and I think we open um 12th of September in Barnstable. You probably know more than I do. I like, is it touring oh, around the, the country or? Yeah, not, uh, mainly down south. It's places like uh, Malvern, Portsmouth. I know they've got a couple of dates that they want to fill in as well. Um, so they, they, they want to add more dates. So, Does yeah. this mean you'll be staying with me again? That would be lovely. <laughs> that would be lovely. I mean, I'm, obviously some of the, the locations are too far away, but it certainly means in between I can go, <laughs> right, I'm going to see my friend. <laughs> and is it like the old tours where it's, it's uh, all the weekdays and two on a Saturday? Really, it's some on a Sunday as well. Yeah. No. Yeah, not not wow. all of them. Yeah, a couple are oh, on a Sunday. I thought you were going to say it's like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or something. No, no. And everything. no. So when would you travel? If, you've got, if you're working on a Sunday, when's so, your travel day? So I think if it's Tuesday to Sunday, and then some days we, it's literally Monday to Saturday. So it will, some days it will just be one day travelling. Yeah. Because you usually get Monday off, don't you, when you're doing yeah. those things? Yeah. 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 How exciting though, Jackie. Yes. So it's just finding all those digs again and oh, I know. Yeah. That, I'm not that looking forward to that, yeah. I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll have to Alicia, will Alicia you, be Jackie. able to come with you at any point? Um, Alicia, well, she she's obviously just had her A-levels, waiting for results. So um, that's been rubbish for all the kids this past Oh, terrible. Oh, rubbish. Yeah. Um, so she's got a place at Liverpool University. She's just waiting to Brilliant. hear back for a result to do psychology. But you know what? She doesn't really know what she wants to do, like a lot of kids. And I, I think COVID hasn't helped because she was planning to go and do some work experience um, at Media City. She's not been mm -hmm. able to do that. Um, so it's just been... So, but you know what, Jackie? I don't know what I want to do. And I'm 120. <laughs> Cherry, so, I'm, I'm the same. True. I, keep, I keep saying, you know... Um, None of us oh, do. Yeah, I'll change my career, but what do I do? I'm all right at lots of stuff and master of nothing. <laughs> do you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, I, I was quite lucky because during lockdown, I've actually been teaching and I directed two plays at Preston wow. University. Wow, well oh, done. Nice. Two well, Brecht plays. Not the easiest, I have to be honest, but 
I, I on a whim, I just said, yes, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I went, oh, God, I've never done this before. And you know what? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Right. Oh, that's a lovely thing to be part right. of. I mean, I, I, for me, stripping's out now. I can't do any more of that. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, so Sherry. I'm pole dancing. No, I can only, oh. I can only I strip that bit that's rest. <laughs> I th- I think, far down the line I now, think you know, I'm at that age as well honey I'm just no you're not no oh, I'm yeah. on the floor in the bathroom well, I exposed a lot to yeah. in November in in the yeah um, Linda you're absolutely gorgeous you did oh no but I didn't absolutely know, gorgeous. honestly it was the scariest thing exposing the lot like that you're yeah but you you're all your bits have stayed still <laughs> they, they have all right. certainly I have Linda, to say, Linda said, the, Linda said the funniest thing, didn't you, about the boys? Wasn't it about sticking their willies to the ice? Didn't you say something like that? Oh, yeah, no. That, well, it was the full Monty on ice, wasn't it? So they, the boys oh. were naked on ice. They fell over. <laughs> All their warm bits would get stuck, wouldn't they? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> what When we actually did the, you know, the, full, the full whack, they were behind us, so we didn't see anything. But, oh, good. You, know, you couldn't get oh. the clothes back on. <gasps> they don't care. Men don't care, do they? No, they, no, no. they were whacking no, all, all around and wiggling <laughs> it. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> it was like that. The minute, you know, we went, oh, and that was it. It was that second. Oh, but, bless. Uh, no, that would have been a funny shot when all of them stuck to the floor. I quite like that. Spot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have yes, I have just. Got- as you had skates on, you could have skated over them. That's another, that's just an evil thing. Oh, that's, no, that's going skates. too far. I th- that is quite scary. I'd, I'd just be like, oh, gosh, what if something hit me? I know well, because you know I the, the fact that we on. were on ice, it took away the, the, the fear of exposing ourselves because I was so worried I was going to break a bone or, you know, because yeah. you know, it was a long yeah. time since I did dance. More worried life. about that. Yeah, it was more. Well, I've, done, I've done that. Yeah, I've done that actually. I've actually fallen on the ice and cracked my pelvis. Oh no! So when, when Alicia was little, and it's very sore. So very I'm never painful. doing dancing on ice. That's that's. Yeah, cool. me <laughs> and they're pushing the barriers so far each each year. That yeah. I think that's I think that's the problem with the show. Yeah. It's that it's gone. They've pushed it too far now. Whereas it used to be, this person can't ice skate at all. Let's watch how they get on the ice and how they develop. Now they've got to be doing flips and jumps as soon as they get I on know, the, the ice. Best, the best person ever, the best contestant for me was Todd Carty. Oh, yeah. that was funny, yeah. Hilarious. I mean, that, it was so funny when he just literally came on and went straight off again. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it should be, not, yeah. you know, yeah. who's best. It but shouldn't they get be like who's dance. best. They get dancers or boys that have done ice hockey and they're already, yeah. you know. Oh, there's, really yeah, no contest. Yeah. Would, like would you do I'm a Celebrity, Jackie? Oh, oh, that's exposing me again and you know I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, and eating the, all those dreadful things as oh, well. Worms and things. Is that I wouldn't do that. Those, yeah, I can't, it makes me actually reach watching them on the telly. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Me too. I can't bear that. Well, Jackie, well, I mean, what can we say? Thank you for joining us. We'll see you at the show. We will. Yes. I'm really and we'll see you at your show, show as well. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, we will come and see you, definitely. We'll sit really late, darling. Yeah. We'd love to. We'll come and see you. Okay. okay. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to see you today. <laughs> Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It was down, a lovely went day. Down the call. 28th of June, everybody. 28th of June. We should make a song, shouldn't we? We should. The live we is do. at the Duchess Theatre the 28th of June. There you, you go. You get the tickets Can't if you anymore. go to our website. Website. On the birds.com, you will see a little thing that will take you straight to booking. Linda, as usual, thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, darling. Thank you, my darling, Linda. Oh, you're it's welcome. It's been fabulous Thanks, having you on very the show. soon. So you we love you, Linda. Love and you. I'm a bit disappointed you missed my um, bargain bucket when I did all the stickers just for you. I know. Yes. Right, next time you come on, I'll show you what I've got. If what you did you show order? me what you've what? got. Did you order some stickers? Yes, I'll show you. When when you come on again, I'll I'll literally have them here and Brilliant. show you what I... And Ooh. I'll show you what they can do and what they can actually hold up. Actually, we, should, we should get you on the beauty show. So you can show yeah, us. Yeah, I'll show it. Mine are really good. <laughs> oh, I bet. Can't wait. Yeah, there you go. 
Anyway, guys, we will see you on Monday, which just so happens to be my birthday. Oh, oh no, it's not, is it? I no, do have okay. really. I have a birthday guest as well who's coming on. Mr. Darren Day is my present. Oh, Ooh. what a lovely present. So yeah, that, that is for, for all of oh, us. Good. All right, guys. Well, lovely to see you. See you. Lovely we'll see to you see you. All right, we'll darling. See you on Monday. Bye. On your birthday. Bye. 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 The Amazing Wonderbirds are sponsored by Winesworth Stories.